Hello everyone, my name is Johnette Oaks and I'm going to be discussing the theory of framing and the effects. To begin my presentation, I would like to first discuss this image on the screen. So this is an image that you may see in a newspaper or a magazine that kind of shows you how framing is interpreted in our media, in our information that we digest, in topics and issues. So to begin on the left side of the screen, you can see that there's a half cut and half portion of the image that's in the center. And it shows you kind of like a hostage being held at gunpoint. Um, so this gives off a negative connotation. And if this was displayed on any sort of media or newspaper or magazine, you may find this to be very negative and not giving you the whole image does come off as this is a negative connotation being shown. However, in contrast, on the very far right hand side of the screen, you can see that the man or the hostage is being presented water out of a canteen by a soldier. And this provides a positive image. You feel like, wow, he's being helped rather than being held at gunpoint. Um, so in the middle, which provides you the whole picture, um, shows that this man, whoever he may be, hostage, um, isn't being held at gunpoint. Um, but it's shown being helped by two soldiers. One is providing water, one is standing by. So this is really how framing works. It therefore presents a picture to you of what they want you to see rather than giving you the whole picture. So to define framing first, framing is defined as the action methods or process of constructing, making, or shaping anything, whether material or immaterial. A frame specifies the relationship between a number of connected elements in a test, helping to define or interpret um, what is going on, making sense of the events that are happening. So the picture on the very far left side of the screen shows you kind of like a political um, aspect of framing itself. So you can see the Democratic Party, the donkey, and the Republican Party, the elephant, are both holding frames up to one another. This is to show that they and even in politics, there is framing being done. Um, so the donkey is holding up um, a frame that says the party of no regarding the Republicans. And the um, elephant is holding up a frame saying the party of O regarding the Democrats. So the author of the framing theory um, is Irving Goffman. He was born on June 11th, 1922. He is a Canadian sociologist and writer. He's best known for his contribution to social theory, the study of symbolic interaction. And he is also the 73rd president of the American Sociological Association. So, the history of framing. In 1974, Goffman published The Frame Analysis, an essay on the organization of experience, which became one of his well-known books. The book describes how conceptual frames structure an individual's perception of society, and it used the concept of a picture frame to explain this theory. Goffman established the frame concept in which he described that the frame represents structure and is used to hold together an individual's concept of what they are experiencing in their lives, represented by a picture. So, the framing theory is represented as one of the most common research approaches in the field of media studies and communication. Um, it suggests how something is presented to the audience, which is called the frame, and influences the choices people make about how to process that information. And this is often associated with agenda setting, which I will explain further in detail in the later slides. Um, so under this, once accepted, the framing theory created the social and political context in which framing takes place, and the long-term social and political consequences of media learned frames. So getting an audience to make certain judgment regarding a piece of information may not be as hard as some people believe, but framing theory works to do just this. So framing theory suggests that how something is presented to the audience um, influences the choices people make. And framing theory is used by communication professionals to help move the audience toward a certain belief. This may result in an audience to complete an action or for the frame to shift the mental thought processes of the audience. So framing and agenda setting. 
Framing theory has been widely regarded as a close resemblance to agenda setting, and agenda setting theory says that the news reports make it in a way that when a particular news report is given importance or attention, then other news to the audience will automatically perceive it as the most important news and information given to them. So agenda setting um, theory is the first step to framing theory. They both work to make the viewers see the topic in a specific light. But frame and theory takes this step a little bit further in a way in which the news is presented, creates a frame for that information. This is usually a conscious choice by the journalist. In this case, a frame refers to the way media is a gatekeeper, organizing and presenting the ideas, events, and topics that they cover. Target audience. The framing theory can be used for effective communication in all fields of media and other organizations. It is mainly applied in understanding media effects. Effective communica communication among a large audience can be done with well-organized framing of meanings and issues. And one example I wanted to provide is a televised news station can frame a political issue effectively so that the public can understand its, its significance and accept it. This prime example of framing theory is in political news stations. And stations such as Fox News and CNN have almost polar opposite frames when discussing certain events. Their goal is to organize information in a way that paints the picture that they want the audience to see. Both pictures may be about the same idea, but they will make two different interpretations. So what's entailed in a frame? Framing is a way of communication sources defining and constructing any piece of communicated information. Framing is also used to represent the communication aspect, which leads to the people's preference by consenting one meaning to another. So I took this photo or image from the book that we were assigned to read for this semester, and it provides a very well understanding of the frame theory model. So we can learn a lot about how the vast array of social cues have an effect on individuals or a group of people. So once we learn these cues that could be used in our daily life to make sense of members of the same or opposite sex, gender, and to impose frames on them or their actions and the situations we encounter with them. Or um, by coming in contact with these cues within our interactions, we can possibly reinforce what we've already have um, instilled within us in our daily lives. So how it operates. This theory stimulates the decision making process by highlighting particular aspects and eliminating others. Framing plays an important role in how a particular issue is presented before the people and how they perceive it. And news that is presented creates a frame for that information. The strengths of framing are that an issue can be highlighted to emphasize on certain events. Framing can regulate the audience perception and acceptance of a particular meaning of the message. And negative framing can create a large impact on the people since the media plays an important role in the audience's understanding. The weaknesses behind framing are that their biased media can negatively affect or frame an issue and influence a large group of people. Intuition and careful interpretation of the audience are inevitable when it comes to framing. The media is a powerful tool, so content must be framed with values as it influences and controls the audience. Finally, framing in journalism. Framing is a way of communication that defines and constructs any piece of communicated information. It is an unavoidable part of human communication. Therefore, we all bring our own frames to the conversation. The newspaper frames the news within a particular point of view. This can change the way the reader perceives the issue. Therefore, newspapers prioritize the news items and highlight according to their agency. For journalists, a frame refers to the way the media acts as gatekeepers that organize and present ideas, events, and topics that journalists cover. Therefore, journalists decide the frame in which the information will be presented.